In this video series, I'm going to show you how to connect a MySQL database to your Unity game through using PHP scripts. So before we start, you need to make sure that you have PHP downloaded and installed on your machine, as well as um, MAMP. So MAMP is the program that we'll use to host our database and our PHP script. So once that is downloaded, um, once you open it, uh, the, you should see the Apache server and MySQL server should start up automatically. This video, we're just going to set up our database and I'm just going to explain to you a bit about the architecture of what we're going to do. So if you click on open start page, it'll take you to this. So this is now hosted on your, your local machine. And if you click on PHP My Admin, this is where you will then manage all your databases. So over here you can click on new. Um, you can just insert the database name. I won't do that because I already created one for MySQL YouTube. PHP My Admin, this is where you're going to manage your database, create all the tables um, and create like user login details. We're going to be building a login system for users within Unity. So to do that, we're going to have to add a users table to our database. So to do that, we'll create table name it users columns will be three because we'll have one for email one for passwords and one for um, usernames so you press go and that's going to allow you to add names to each of the columns in your database so the first one you're going to need uh, email and that will be a voucher which is basically text um, and we'll make this length 50 here where it says null index, you're going to want to make sure that this is primary. It means that this email field, there cannot be any duplicates in the database. You wouldn't want two users to have the same email address. So secondly, we're going to have a username, which will be varchar. Um, username will set to 15 length and a password, also varchar. And this password is going to be hashed before we save it to the database so that if anyone does get access to the database, they don't um, see everyone's passwords. Um, so we'll make this a length of, say, 150 because the hashes turn out to be pretty long. So once you've done this, you can click Save and you can now see over here. If you click on your database, you can see there's a Users table and you can click on it over here. And if you do need to make changes to a table, you can go to Structure while it's selected. And you can add rows by clicking Add one or two columns. Um, or you can remove rows by clicking Drop. So that's basically the management of the database. Something else I just need to speak about quickly is if you go to Preferences, you can see that um, these are the ports that MAMP is hosting all these files on. Um, and PHP here, you have to go and select your PHP version that you've got downloaded. Then if we click on server, you can see that the document root is C MAMP HT docs. So if I open this up, I'm already in it. <laughs> um, anything that's in this document root it, are all the files that are going to be hosted on your machine while MAMP, MAMP is running. So you can see here, add user dot PHP. So that's just um, another file that I created a while ago. So if I go here and I say localhost forward slash add user dot PHP, you'll see it's going to return a value here. And this value is being returned by the, um, the PHP script. So basically the way our game is then going to work is we are going to create PHP scripts that query our database because we don't want our database to be publicly available and we only want the PHP scripts to be publicly hosted on the internet. Um, so we're going to create our own PHP scripts that query the database and then return a value, either error code or a success message or um, uh, like a, a user's username. Um, that kind of thing. So basically these PHP scripts are going to be the gateway between our game and our database. In the next video I'm going to be setting up our first uh, PHP script and then uh, from there we're going to start programming in Unity the actual login and register functions.